Mark Goolsby's family has called Juliet, Georgia home for almost 200 years. He doesn't live in the white, two-story family home on Luther Smith Road and probably never will, but his 80-year-old mother still does. My mother doesn't want to leave this place. She's been here 61 years after her and my dad married. She doesn't want to relocate. It's what's nearby that gets Goolsby talking relocation. The ash pond for Georgia Power's coal-fired plant shearer is just through the tree line across the road. Mark Goolsby believes the plant is what has made his mother sick for years and is what caused the liver cancer that killed his father. She has chronic sinus infections. Her doctor will slap her on a thousand milligram antibiotics every time she goes over there. A long-standing class action lawsuit alleges the plant has made scores of Goolsby's neighbors sick with various cancers and respiratory problems. A couple of plaintiffs settled out of court, had their homes bought out, and moved away. Ken Mitchell of the Environmental Protection Agency says rules aimed at cutting power plant carbon dioxide to fight climate change might also be beneficial to people's health. Uh, a really important co-benefit of this greenhouse gas reduction rule that we get this very large co-benefit of uh, a drop in things like particulate matter and sulfur dioxide and other chemicals. Nitrogen oxide is the most prominent other chemical. Sunlight can cook it into what we know as smog. Particle pollution causes respiratory problems and cardiac problems. The good news is that the technologies that would cut carbon dioxide would cut these chemicals too. The EPA is asking states and utilities to make adjustments to hit what they consider an optimal fuel mix by 2030. According to the EPA, coal made up about 33 percent of Georgia's fuel source in 2012. Back at his home place, Mark Goolsby swipes at a black dust he says collects on homes and cars. He believes it is coal dust and is one of the pollutants that has made his community sick. The EPA's Ken Mitchell says Goolsby might be right, but it would take a lot of science to say. But even so, the new carbon dioxide rules wouldn't affect it. Mark Goolsby understands that whatever the new rules might do for health, they won't do much for his mother. Well, my mother will be 96 by then in that area, 95, 96. And, you know, I mean, they can't clean it up now. It's still in the air. Representatives from Georgia Power declined to be interviewed for this story, but say in a statement that their expected side effect from the rule change would be untenable price increases for customers. The statement goes on to say the company is in the midst of a $5 billion installation of emissions cleaning technologies across their plants.